Come, follow me. Luke chapter 18, verse 22. Where our individual desire dies and sanctified surrender lives. One of the greatest hindrances in coming to Jesus is the excuse of our own individual temperament. We make our temperament and our natural desires barriers to coming to Jesus. Yet, the first thing we realize when we do come to Jesus is that He pays no attention whatsoever to our natural desires. We have the idea that we can dedicate our gifts to God. However, you cannot dedicate what is not yours. There is actually only one thing you can dedicate to God, and that is your right to yourself. See Romans chapter 12 verse 1. If you will give God your right to yourself, He will make a holy experiment out of you. And His experiments always succeed. The one true mark of a saint of God is the inner creativity that flows from being totally surrendered to Jesus Christ. In the life of a saint, there is this amazing well, which is a continual source of original life. The Spirit of God is a well of water springing up perpetually flesh. A saint realizes that it is God who engineers his circumstances. Consequently, there are no complaints, only unrestrained surrender to Jesus. Never try to make your experience a principle for others, but allow God to be as creative and original with others as He is with you. If you abandon everything to Jesus and come when He says, Come, then He will continue to say, Come through you. You will go out into the world, reproducing the echo of Christ's Come. That is the result in every soul who has abandoned all and come to Jesus. Have I come to Him? Will I come now?